Well, it was a close call. That's what we were saying. But yes, you're right. On mar on the margin, we thought that they they were likely to hold, and the market was obviously surprised quite substantially as well. I think going into the meeting, there were seven basis points priced, and obviously the Aussie dollar had a big pop on the back of what's going on. Um, and the, the RBA in their statement have, have said that, you know, on balance, they're still worried about the fact that inflation, although it's peaked, is still too high. Uh, they're still worried about the pace at which inflation will fall back towards their target. And there's a fair bit in that statement as well that talks about the idea that although so far, the pickup in wages growth has been one where wages growth is still consistent with the RBA's target. Uh, it's getting more and more uh, risky that perhaps it will accelerate a bit further given recent agreements. And of course, we had the minimum wage decision from, from the Fair Work Australia last week, which is contributing. And they're pointing out, which they've done now for a few months, that it's only consistent with their inflation target if productivity growth picks up. And of course, we've seen pretty sluggish productivity growth. So they are really saying that the risk that inflation stays too high for too long is a bit too much to bear, and that's what they did. They delivered another hike to try to slow the economy down even further. Yeah, absolutely, and that's what makes this decision today so interesting, Paul. So, all right, give us some insight on exactly what's going to happen next here, because the RBA has been criticised for this stop-start policy when it comes to addressing interest rates, but of course, interest rates at the moment are still not high enough to address Australia's inflation problem, at least according to RBA policymakers. So what will happen over the next few months? Well, this is it, right? Today they decided that they weren't quite high enough. They've decided to give a little bit more of a, 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 a nudge along and, and, and try to slow the economy down a bit further. I, I think this makes the narrow pathway that the RBA governor has been referring to, where he's saying, look, we need to slow the economy down in order to get inflation down, but we're really hoping to avoid having to deliver a hard landing or a recession. That narrow pathway is getting narrower and narrower as we speak. Um, they've delivered a lot of tightening now, 400 basis points in a little over 12 months. Um, and and it's, it's having its effect on the consumer. That's quite evident already. We haven't seen the full effect of what's already been delivered. So I think it is getting harder to believe that Australia isn't going to have more of a slowdown in order to get inflation down. But the RBA has clearly d decided today that that is the risk they're prepared to take because they are even more worried that inflation won't come down quite fast enough and that it is starting to show signs of perhaps embedding itself in some parts of the labour market in that wage setting process. So, uh, you know, I, I still think we're pretty close to the end uh, for the RBA in terms of their policy, uh, what, where, they, where they're going to take their policy rate eventually. And I think the other thing that this does is really uh, calls into question yeah. whether we're still in and, and how much narrower that narrow pathway is becoming as, as they tighten further.